Faubert. That's a lovely ball into Carton Cole here. Fabulous West Ham goal. Muyakolo for Hull. Falls here though to Radislav Kovac. And now room for Faubert again for West Ham. It's Julian Faubert! Marvellous goal! Welcome to the kickoff of Weird Transfers, the series that dives deep into the strange and wonderful from the world of football. On this episode, we look back at one of the most peculiar transfers Real Madrid have ever done. One of the biggest clubs in the world decided to sign an injury-prone winger? Did he really fall asleep on the bench? And who was this player signed months before Cristiano Ronaldo? This is a strange transfer of Julian Faubert from West Ham to Real Madrid. With only two days remaining in the 2009 transfer window, Real Madrid were in the market for a winger and Hammer Julian Faubert appeared to be high on their list. The Frenchman joined West Ham from Bordeaux in the summer of 2007 for £4.3 million. In 18 months, Faubert would only play 32 times in all competitions for the East London club. Real Madrid, still in the Galactico era, needed cover. Their manager, Juan de Ramos, who had a stint at Tottenham Hotspur a year earlier, wanted Antonio Valencia as his first choice winger. At the time, Valencia's club, Wigan, wanted £25 million. That was a no-go for the Spanish Giants, so their plan B was Julian Faubert. West Ham double their money. According to a Four Bears agent, Ramos was impressed by the way the Frenchman had played against the Spurs side. Reflecting on the moment he had heard of Madrid's interest, the winger said, The story just came out of nowhere, to be honest. I remember we had a game in the league against Fulham and I got a call from a number I didn't recognise. It was a French guy and he said he was a representative from Real Madrid and I thought that was strange. I told him I didn't have time to speak because I had to focus on the game. I switched my phone off, we played the game, beat Fulham and eventually I switched my phone back on. And at this point I had something like 50 text messages and 20 voicemails. My agent was desperately trying to get in contact with me and by the time I spoke with him People were already waiting for me at Heathrow Airport. My agent assured me it wasn't a joke that I needed to go over there and meet with these people. This was no hoax. After negotiations with Wigan collapsed, Faubert's dream move to Real Madrid became a reality. West Ham eventually received £1.5 million for the loan, with an option for Madrid to sign Faubert on a three-year contract. Despite the kicky uppies at the Bernabeu, and the press conference with Alfredo Di Stefano, Faubert's Spanish adventure was far from glamorous. Making only two appearances, he made headlines for the wrong reasons. It seemed like the press didn't like him. Stories of him missing training and dozing off on the bench all went against him. He played a total of 54 minutes for Madrid. The option for a permanent move never materialised and Faubert returned to West Ham. He ended up playing over 100 times for the Hammers. The winger had a short spell in Turkey before returning to Bordeaux for a second spell. He sure loves a second spell. Faubert later turned out for Kilmarnock before having a crack in Indonesia with Borneo who released him in July 2018. Credit to Julian Faubert, he took everything in his stride. <laughs> 